Hello, this is John from One Hour Academy, welcoming you to Lesson 5 of PowerPoint. We've come a long way in the last five lessons. Look at this beautiful PowerPoint chart we've created here. So we've got one more type of chart that I want to show you. One, sorry, one more type of slide that I want to show you. And this uses the thing called Smart Art, which you can see up here. Now, it's a kind of a weird feature. It takes a little while to get used to. Um, you can play with it a lot. And, and get more different effects out of it. We're just going to use it to create what's called an organizational chart for our company, showing a president, vice presidents, and, and people below. And uh, a great way to do that is to use this, this smart art graphic right up here. So we need a new slide to do this. So I'm going to go to the Home tab, where we go to create all new slides. Press and hold this down. And we'll go for our final slide here to be another one of these title and content slides. It's a really generic type of slide, very versatile. There's, as you know, there's lots of things we can put in here. So we've done a lot in the past. We've done a table, we've done a chart, we've inserted some pictures and clip art. Well, not pictures, we did clip art though. And so this time we're going to go to this thing called Smart Art Graphic. So I'm going to click on this now, and this is what comes up. Okay, so you can do different things, list, process, cycle, uh, hierarchy, relationship, and so on and so on. So there's so many, and this one looks really cool. I've never used this one before, but if I ever have a presentation where I need one of these, I just can't wait for it because that looks really cool just right out of the box like that. But anyway, the one we're going to use is the hierarchy. Okay, so there's, and again, with, within each category, there's lots of different subcategories. So um, I'm going to go with this one here. This looks like a nice one to use for sort of an organizational chart. You can see how these boxes kind of link together. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say OK. And there you go. So right out of the box, it, it seems a little bit, you know, not so pretty, but you'll see how quickly it is to um, to sort of bend it to our wills and make it look the way we want it to. So uh, in tandem with this uh, chart here, this hierarchy, <coughs> excuse me, there's this uh, list over here. And basically what I type in over here controls what happens over here. Okay, so I'm gonna be typing in some people's names that you've never heard of before. These are just people that are, again, fictitious and they aren't really the head of smart food, but I need some information. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. My president and CEO, her name is Rachel Black. So I just type it there and you can see how it shows up over on the chart. Now I want to put a second um, line of information in. I don't want to press enter because that'll take me to the next box. So I'm going to press shift enter on my keyboard. Hold the shift key down and then tap enter and let go. Boom. So I'm into the next line in the same box. Okay, and this is where I'm going to just put Rachel's title, which is CEO, and you can see how it shows up there. Okay, uh, so now I can just click on the next box or I could press enter to go there and um, we can start entering our next person. And John Chow is our VP Finance. Okay. Now, um, this shows that he has some people underneath him. Um, we don't have people underneath him, so I'm just going to come over here, and I'm just going to click on this box, and I'm just going to press uh, Delete or Backspace or one of these things. Try that again. There we go. So that gets rid of the people underneath of him. Um, so over here we have another box that's on the same level and that is for another person named Pamela Heslop. I should spell her name right. She might get mad at me if I don't. Okay, and again, shift enter at the very end of her name allows me to stay in this box and I can type VP sales. Okay, now Pamela does have a sales team underneath her, so this works out really well because we have these three items here. But there is one other person at the same level as John and Pamela. So if I press just regular enter here, okay, that's going to put uh, another person on the same level. Okay, so now all of a sudden, this other person is, is reporting directly underneath here. We can easily move it back over here after, and I'll, I'll show you how that's done. So um, at the end of the second level, we have another John. John Colgan, who's VP Operations. Okay, so John doesn't have anybody reporting to him. I can click on this box here and I can delete it. So there's my first level and my second level. Now, if I go to uh, the second person, Pamela Heslop, 
I want to show some subordinates under her. So if I press enter, initially what it does is it creates another person at the same level. But if I press tab on my keyboard, watch what happens. Okay? All of a sudden I'm indenting below Pamela the smart art graph. I guess that's why they call it smart because it knows what I'm doing and it reacts to it. So it it indents, sorry, it, it puts a, a subordinate underneath Pamela because I've indented the list right beside her on, on the chart there, but it's below her name. Okay, so um, I'm just going to quickly put in three people here. These are all Pamela's sales managers. Okay, I press enter, it stays at that level, that lower level. So I've got another subordinate underneath of Pamela. And we have Kim Bailey, shift enter, another sales manager. And lastly, we have Camilla Barnes. and also a sales manager. Okay, so you can see how typing in the information here really brings this chart to life over here. Okay, so when I'm done with that, I can close this off. Now, this chart has some other features. So, you know, when you have uh, something turned on in PowerPoint, there's an additional tools that come up and you can see them shaded up over here. So because I'm working with SmartArt tools, the SmartArt tools pop up here to give me some more um, flexibility. Okay, so I'm going to focus on the design side here just for a second, and I'll show you some of the things we can do to our basic organizational chart. So for example, I can change colors. If I want something that's a bit more bold, like I can uh, come up here to these these filled in colors. If I want something that's a little bit more subtle, I can, I can do something like that. So you can change that as well. Um, I can change the styles in terms of the way the boxes are shaded or they're filled. And these again are just very subtle changes, um, but they have a few of them that are a bit more dramatic too. If I come down here to the bottom, you know, I've got one like this where it kind of squishes it. Now I'm not sure why anybody would want to do it like that. In my opinion, anyway, that doesn't look that great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take that one off. That one looks a little bit better, but you know what? I think some of these subtle ones up here are are better to do the job. Um, let me see which one. Uh, that one there looks okay. So that's the one I'm gonna go with. So there's my organizational chart. I should probably put a title up here. Our Smart Food Team. And there you go. So that's our complete chart. Um, I think what I'll do at this point is I'll pause it and just show you the one extra slide that we just did. But before I do that, big fan of animating. So I'm gonna come and I'm gonna animate this as well. I think I mentioned back in the animation part of our, of our lesson, you can pretty much animate anything you want to that's on a slide, including an organizational chart. So I'm going to do my favorite float in just like that. That looks kind of nice. Okay, so I'm going to sign off here just for a second and come back and just show you this last slide in its full screen glory. So hang on just for one second and we'll come right back to that. Okay, so we're back with the slideshow in its finished full screen product glory. And I'm going to go to the next slide now. And so here's our smart food team. And there you go. This looks really good in full screen. I'm really impressed with these smart art graphics and how, how professional they can make things look. And you saw the different uh, variety of samples they've got there. So it's really just limited to your imagination. And they do really make a difference and make certain slides really stand out. All right, well, that's it for this lesson. Didn't get as much accomplished, but this was a pretty technical slide. So I felt like devoting an entire lesson just to showing you how to do something with smart art graphics. And I hope that was of value to you and you can find a way to incorporate this into your PowerPoints uh, when you go to do them in the future. So this is John signing off from onehouracademy.com. And we've got one lesson left. If you want to come back, I'm going to show you how to embed a YouTube video into your PowerPoint. So we'll add one more slide to this and I'll throw in a video feed um, all about healthy eating, which is a nice compliment to what my slideshow is talking about here. So hope to see you back for that. In the meantime, goodbye for now and thank you for watching.